check out this awesome bone structure. See that spongy, cancellous stuff at the end? Uh, that's at the end of all the femurs and tibias of the big mammals. And that pretty much just gives it strength and integrity. But the really cool stuff is this stuff right here in the middle. That's the trabecular bone growth. And I love it. It looks so cool. And I've never actually seen it this cool before. Uh, that's where all the marrow is found. And actually, that also gives it strength and support. But it looks so cool. Isn't that awesome? Hey, so I'm walking along at this uh, reservoir in New Jersey, kind of central New Jersey for the most part, closer to the coast. And now I found this deer skull. And let me tell you, I find deer skulls all the time. But what I don't usually find are deer skulls with antlers. This one's got antlers on it. Look at that, isn't that cool? Um, now there's a reason why you don't usually find the antlers on the skulls, okay? And those reasons being, one, someone else might find it and bring it home. Um, you know, these are also good to make a deer call, sort of, to attract deer during the rut. You know, you bang the antlers together and they, the other deer are like, hey, there's a male around here, let's go fight them. Um, you know, territorial disputes. However, the main reason why you don't find these is because rodents and other animals in the wood will chew on them, okay? And if you look closely, look at this. See that? <laughs> See those chew marks? The animals will chew on these because these have a lot of calcium and it's a great source of calcium for the, for the anim other animals of the woodland landscape. Um, especially rodents, they love these things. They'll chew right through them. So that's why you don't find deer, deer antlers too often in the woods. Uh, the deer shed their antlers every year. Um, in fact, animals that have antlers shed their antlers. Animals that have horns do not shed them like cows and things, they have horns, so they don't shed their, their horns. Deer have antlers, they shed them, they grow them back every year. A lot of nutrition, a lot of feeding and energy to uh, obtain your antlers. That's why it impresses the female so much, you know? It's like, hey, this guy's good. He's got, you know, eight points. <laughs> They're big, big rack, you know? That means he had a lot of nutrition. He knows where to find the food and to avoid the hunters and all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And if also, if you look closely, you'll see the the marks where the skull was formed in the, in the womb, uh, there's a seam and it looks really cool. All mammal skulls have them, okay? Fits together like a puzzle. Look at that awesomeness. So that's where it was put together inside the, uh, the mother's womb. Pretty cool stuff. And if I have the chance, I'll be able to show you some uh, gnawing marks from the animals. See that? See those gnaw marks? That's proof of what I'm talking about. Squirrels, mice, rats, even beavers will chew on these things. Okay, all sorts of animals will do this.